So if you're looking for some really affordable and convenient front end protection for your 0918 Ram 1500, then the Barricade Grill Guard should be at the top of your shortlist for a couple of reasons. Number one, it is a bolt-on application. There's no custom fabrication or cutting required. It bolts directly up to the frame rails underneath the front bumper, so the install is pretty straightforward. And at around the $400 price point, again, this is one of the least expensive options as far as front end protection goes for the 09 to 18 Ram 1500. If you've been looking at other grill guard options, you might have noticed there's one from Black Horse for a couple of bucks less. But if the careful viewer takes a second look at both, you might notice that the barricade option here is actually fully welded as one piece, whereas the Black Horse option, the primary center here, and the two wings that go over the headlights actually have to be bolted together. So the Black Horse option is a little less expensive, but the install is a little bit more involved, and overall, a one piece welded design will provide a little bit more protection even still. Now, as far as front end protection in general goes, I would say a grill guard is probably the easiest way to get some protection compared to, say, a heavy front armor bumper. And overall, again, the grill guards will be a little less expensive as well. Now, as far as the install goes, it is pretty straightforward, like the product page mentions. Again, this is a bolt-on design. It's not custom fabricated for your exact truck, but Barricade does make the bracket holes oversized and oval in shape, so you can play around with fitment as far as things going left to right and up and down. So as long as you take your time hand tightening everything before you actually tighten everything down for final assembly, you should not have any concerns with the install itself. So for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and give the install a pretty simple one out of three wrenches on my difficulty meter. I will say it'll definitely take you a little bit longer than an hour if you're using basic hand tools. I would say if you take your time and you do it right, it'll probably take you around two hours tops in the driveway at home. So again, if you're looking for one of the most affordable grill guards that's welded as one piece to get some nice protection, for the front end of your Ram, go ahead and stick around. I'll show you guys exactly what tools you need in just a second, and then I'll walk you through the entire install. All right, guys, so to install your grill guard, you'll need to grab a standard drive ratchet, a seven and 10 millimeter socket, as well as an 18 millimeter deep socket. You'll also need a 10 millimeter and 18 millimeter wrench, and a flathead screwdriver or a plastic trim tool. Optional but helpful tools include a pneumatic impact and a swivel socket. All right, so before we start installing our brackets, we have to make room for them, obviously, right? That means pulling off this little weather guard right here. Now, it's pretty straightforward. It's really held on with just a couple of pieces of hardware, but first we gotta remove the four bolts underneath here. Those are 10 millimeter head bolts, so you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket. All right, so once you've pulled those four bolts, you can tackle all the hardware inside of the weather guard itself. Now on either end, there's gonna be some hardware you should tackle before you get to the stuff inside. There's a little seven millimeter bolt up here attached to a speed clip, so you're gonna need a seven millimeter socket for that. There may also be some plastic rivets in here. They do break pretty easily, so you might not have to worry about that. But if yours are still intact, go ahead and snip those real quick. Once you've got either end tackled, move your way to the inside. There's a couple of push pins in there. You'll need a flathead screwdriver. Then there's a couple of plastic retaining clips. Again, use that flathead to pry those free. You should be able to pull the entire weather guard out from underneath the front bumper. All right, now that that weather guard is out of the way, we can install our frame side brackets. To do that, you're gonna be pulling two 18 millimeter nuts off of the studs that secure the bumper to the frame rails themselves. There are two of those studs on either side. Again, you're gonna need an 18 millimeter socket, and if you're using power tools like me, it's helpful to have the swivel because it's a bit of a tight fit.
All right, with the frame side bracket in place, we can install the grill side bracket. Now, in order to get this guy in place, you're gonna throw him onto those two studs on the frame side bracket we just installed. Once you got him in place, grab your flat washers, crush washers, and the 18 millimeter nuts provided in the kit, and use your 18 millimeter socket to tighten this down. Now the last step of installing the brackets for the grill guard is this little support bracket right here. This end will secure to the grill guard bracket we just installed to the frame side bracket, and this side is gonna secure to this 18 millimeter bolt that you see right here popping down underneath the frame rail. So again, you're gonna need your 18 millimeter socket. This might have some clearance issues with this little plastic support right here for the weather guard, but once you tighten this 18 millimeter bolt down, it should push this out of the way. Once that's pushed out of the way, simply grab the remaining hardware in the kit, those crush washers, flat washers, nuts, and bolts, and you'll thread those through this little U-shape here, and you'll secure it to the grill guard bracket. All right, so we finally have one side complete. We have our frame side and our grill guard side and our support brackets all tightened down. Go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. And if you're working with the truck up in the air like I am, after you get the other side installed, you can go ahead and lower the truck down on the ground. It'll finally be time for us to start installing the grill guard itself. All right, so we have our truck on the ground. We can finally install our grill guard on the primary brackets, but once we do that and we swing it up into place, there is one more set of brackets we have to install. These little guys right here. They actually secure on the tubes on the grill guard in front of the headlights, and they secure behind the headlight housings themselves inside the engine bay. Now, you don't have to pull anything off like the rad cover or the grill. You can actually tackle that bolt with a little 10 millimeter hand wrench. Go ahead and pull that 10 millimeter bolt out, slide this end of the bracket between the headlight housing and where that bolt secures, then throw the bolt back in and tighten it down. Go ahead and do the same thing for both sides. All right, so now that we have those brackets installed near the headlights, we can finally throw our grill guard in place. 
Now there's a pretty cool way to go about this that makes it really easy. What you want to do is you want to grab the standard nuts and bolts provided in the kit that we've been using this entire time. Go ahead and set them up with the crush washers and flat washers that you need and thread these through the bottom most holes on the bottom of the grill guard itself as well as the rear most holes on the brackets we installed earlier. Once you got those in place, go ahead and hand tighten those. Don't tighten them down all the way just yet. What you can do then, once all those are in place, you can actually swing the entire grill guard up like a giant lever. Once you've swung up the entire grill guard, go ahead and line up the holes on the brackets here near the headlights with the pre-drilled holes on the tubes and grab the button head bolts in the kit with the appropriately sized flat washers and crush washers and install those hand tight. Then you can throw the remaining bolts and nuts on the bottom of the brackets here and then once you're happy with where everything's sitting, you think that the grill guard's nice and squared off, you can go ahead and tighten everything down. All right, so now we have our button head bolts installed in the headlight brackets there. Now we can come back down to the grill guard brackets and install the remaining nuts and bolts. Again, you're gonna need an 18 millimeter socket and wrench to tighten all this stuff down. Once you've tightened those down, go ahead and grab the provided Allen key in the kit, tighten down the button head bolts, and that should wrap up the install. All right, so once you got those 18 millimeter bolts and nuts tightened down, go ahead and take a quick step back here. Make sure everything is still squared and lined up and you're happy with it. And that should wrap up the install. Pretty straightforward, right? That also wraps up my review of the Barricade Grill Guard fitting your 09 to 18 Ram 1500. I'm Travis, thanks for watching. And for all things Ram, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.